Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, three-point and four-point precision editing. All right, three-point and four-point editing, something that's been around for many, many years and lots of editors use this day in and day out. It's a way to precisely set a position of where you're going to edit your video and where it ends up in your edit. Let's go have a look. So in this video, there are a lot of cuts to music and a lot of precision going on and some faster cuts here and some speed ramps and there's a hole right there. And just before the hole, or just after the hole, we've got this kendo uh, battle going on and he gets hit right there in the neck. And just before that, he ex getting to extend his um, sword here. So we need to fill this little hole inside here. The first thing I'm gonna do down here is lock my music layer. If you're doing this with dialogue, that's different, but a lot of precision editing comes with timing things to music, music videos, or anything that you have to have precision cuts. Because this specific track should not be touched, I'm gonna to lock it so only the video is gonna be moving around. Next, I'm gonna hit the plus key and zoom in. I've already put a, a marker in here for myself of where I'm going to put this video in, and we're zoomed in quite a bit. This is only a 16 frame cut. So I'm gonna find the video that I wanna work on and here's the video right here and somewhere I have to find this cut um, just before he right in there so he thrusts it right in there so now I have a choice I know exactly where I want to fit this in in the timeline that's two points let's go make that so I'll go to my beginning point here and hit the I key and the uh, out point and hit the O key and I've got an in and out point. That's two points. Now where is the other two or one point coming from? Well in my case up in my source monitor I'm going to concentrate on where this video is going to go out. So I'm going to find a point right there. So I'll set my out point. I'll tap the O key so that's the third point. So in the timeline two, in the source, I have my three points. And when I have those in and out points, it really doesn't matter where my playhead is. The uh, insertion of the clip is gonna go into the in and out point. I do have to pay attention on the left-hand side. This is called source patching. I don't care to have any audio. I'm just bringing in the video from here. And I get to tell Premiere Pro where to put this video from the source monitor. I can have it land on V2, or snuggle up right in with the rest of the clips right on V1. Next up, I can either use the keyboard shortcut to uh, the period key for um, overwrite or insert. And, and I don't want insert. I mean, I'll show you what happens when I click insert, everything moves down on the timeline. I'll undo that. I want to overwrite this. So watch what happens now. Click, boom, it puts it right in there. And now if we watch this, he thrusts. It's good, but it's there's a problem. The problem is he's thrusting too early. You can see he's already made contact there, and he's just making contact there. So um, normally I would just slide this down, but instead I'm going to go back to my edit in the source monitor and take this back a couple of frames. Now I have a new out point. Now I insert that in, and now let's look at that point here. So... There we go. Now he thrusts and bang. So from there to there. Okay, so that's a three point edit and that's one that's uh, very easy to understand. You can pick either or. Uh, there's four points, two in the source, two in the um, timeline, and you get to pick where those, which of those points. If the in point was more important, then I could have chosen in the source monitor the in point and don't care about an out point the out point is based on where it fits in the timeline in the sequence. All right, let's try four point editing. So let me undo that and go back over to my uh, edit here. And I'm going to, on purpose, I'm going to hit an endpoint that I know is larger. So 
it's very rare that you'll accidentally find an exact in and out point and an exact in and out point that match on both of them. In four point editing, um, when you, if you do that precisely, that's great, but I just grabbed an arbitrary point and hit out. So if I click insert now, I'm gonna get fitted with this dialog box. It's telling me the source is actually longer than the destination, and I have a number of choices. The first one is change the clip speed fit to fill. Fit to fill is, again, a term that's been around for a long time. It simply means change the speed. If what I'm bringing in is too short, then drag it out, which will make it slower. If it's too long, then speed it up and figure the math out automatically for me. Um, that can be a little bit odd because sometimes if you're filling it too much, it slows down too much or speeds up too much. Most times if you're editing like this, you don't want any speed changes and you don't want that to be obvious. The other choices are exactly what I was doing with three point editing. So ignore the in point. That's that first point that I put. Um, and just use the other three points, or ignore the source out, or the in or the out with the sequence. And I can tell it to always use this choice. This was a feature request from customers who didn't like to be presented with this dialog box all the time. If I accidentally set four, then always ignore the, the uh, in point. That's what I do, or the out point. I'm gonna choose to fit to fill, and I'll click OK, and you can see right here it says 300% that it has um, sped this up to fit that in there. So that's definitely not what I want. That speed change is definitely not going to work. So for me, four point editing, I'm going to try that again. So I'll click insert. And this time again, I'm gonna choose, oh, but oh yeah, ignore the end point of this. Click okay, it fits in, there it is. There's my point, bang oh, right in the chest. And that's as easy as it is. So. Three point, four point editing is for the precision kind of work. If you don't need this, then don't worry about it. But if you need precision, this is what you can do. And you can either do it by using the mouse or keyboard shortcuts. Remember, source patching can put it into any track. All right, so hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button for video revealed. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then I have a special link in the description just for you to go and get your own free 30-day trial of Adobe Creative Cloud. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.